Oh man, I really hope this doesn't destroy my toaster. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh, oh, oh. Live at 10 o'clock at night, in his craft corner, Robbie Epic Sauce! Oh, thank you! Thank you very much! Hi! Whoa! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And today, we're gonna be trying a bunch of fun TikTok life hacks. Let's do this. Okay, so here's my mask, here's my tea light. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hot glue the little earpieces onto the tea light. Boopity boop, inside's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let the glue cool down. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. Is it gonna float? I have no idea. I guess we just have to try it out. My prediction is it's just gonna burn up the mask. But here we go. Okay, you got this candle. You got this. Come on, it's not even lifting up the mask. Oh, I'm getting wax everywhere. Do I let the do I let the flame get a little bit bigger? I'm gonna let it get a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna let it go. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh no, it burned out. Oh, oh no, my tea light burned all the way out. Two hours later. Okay guys, we're back and I put a brand new tea light in there. Ooh, baby, that is burning bright. Okay, I think we're all set. You guys ready? I'm gonna let go. In three, two, one. Oh God, oh God. It's not lifting it up at all. And I'm kind of scared that it's gonna light this mask on fire. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Oh my God, what the f Okay guys, so this one actually looks like a lot of fun. But I definitely wanna make sure that I'm safe. So I'm gonna be wearing two pairs of gloves. A face mask, and also ear muffs so I don't go deaf. Face mask first. Ooh. Then I'm doing my ear muffs, and then the gloves. Okay, maybe one set of gloves is enough. Can I still wear my hat with this on? Oh, no, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, so here's our little bottle. Here's our flamethrower guy. So first I'm gonna fill it up with the gas. Okay, three, two. It's not working. I'm really not sure what the heck's going on here. One, two. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was really excited for this one to work. Yeah, the gas is definitely going when I half press it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. That's pretty lame. Probably one of the best kept secrets for solving the Rubik's Cube. You can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position. You're gonna turn the left side counterclockwise, turn the top clockwise, so it looks like this. Over and over again. Okay guys, so I went out and I bought a brand new Rubik's Cube for this. I didn't have a Rubik's Cube, can you believe that? I could've swore I did. Anyway, before we do this, I have to do the painful part. You ready? Mixing it up. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I think Tori might, but I don't. So this might be the last time this ever gets solved by me. So the first move is I have to do it up like this and then over one like that. So up, over, up, over. And then I have to keep repeating it until it solves itself. So, <laughs> here we go. Okay, let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for 10 minutes and uh, we'll see if let's it works. Let's do this. 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 Okay guys, it's been like 15 minutes and uh, I've been doing the same thing and uh, no, the same results. I feel like the reason this wouldn't actually work is because these four never actually change. So these four will be yellow, but these four will always stay the same. If you go, if you slide it up and then slide it to the side, these ones will also never change, see? I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Completely bogus. Get your pip towel, do a snort and a wee. <laughs> Okay, so let me practice the first basic sound. You want a little something like. Oh no, I just got a booger. Oh, snot rocket right out of my nose. That's disgusting. Now here's our paper towel roll. Here we go. Wow, I actually kind of sound like a lion. This is actually pretty neat. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna 
have to say that this one totally works. Okay, this is seriously one of the best hacks I've learned from TikTok. I saw a couple videos making this twisted bacon. It looked so good. They said it was a perfect combination of crispy and chewy. I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, flipped it over, put it in for another 20 minutes. It turned out perfect. Okay, so here's our tray. Here's our bacon. The real star of the show, honestly. Don't need that anymore. Now the bacon is free. Now it's time to twist some bacon. I'm just hoping I'm doing this right. Bacon twists, bacon twists. Okay, one down, a pound to go. Wow, these are looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna toss these in the oven for 40 minutes. That's a long time to wait for bacon. But uh, yeah, I'll see you when this is done. One eternity later. Okay, and this is how they turned out. They were in the oven for about 40 minutes, so they're pretty crispy. They have a fun little twist in them, so that's nice. But how does it taste? We're about to find out. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is pretty good. Do I say that's better than normal bacon? Eh. It feels like I got a lot less bacon out of this, which I know isn't true because that's not how science works. Ooh, but I really do like how crispy it gets. It is pretty nice. So bacon twists, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. If your feet hurt, you need to get in your car right now. Drive to Home Depot to wherever they're selling these PVC pipes at and purchase bare minimum two of them. You need one for the car and one for the crib. I no longer have any foot pain. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I don't actually have a giant pipe on hand. I have an easy solution for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and break out my shop vac and take off this guy. This should do perfectly. This is all I need you for. Thank you. Okay, are you guys ready for this? So apparently it's supposed to be just like this great massage on your feet. Let's see if I can even balance on this. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I'm gonna use a chair for balance. Ooh, that does feel nice on my feet. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, so here's our bread. Go ahead and break out a couple of slices. There's our plate. Boop -a boop Then we go ahead and get some Hershey's chocolate and just put them right on the center. Boop. Put the top on, break out our glass, and just go. Oh, that's not good. The bread broke. I'm gonna try this again. Maybe I need less chocolate in the middle. And here we go. Break away the outer part, and we should have ourselves a nice little chocolate pouch. I mean, it's kind of staying together. It looks pretty good. Let's go throw this bad boy in the toaster. Boobity boo. Here's our toaster. Here's our little chocolate Uncrustables guy. I'm just gonna put it right in. Oh man, I really hope this doesn't destroy my toaster. And now we wait. Oh, and it's done. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Get out of here, toaster. Look how beautiful oh. that is. This thing is toasted to perfection. Let's go ahead and rip it open, see how it looks. You ready? Oh, ho, ho. that looks pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie. But how does it taste? It tastes just like chocolate on bread. Wow, I didn't expect that outcome. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one is delicious and it works. Okay, so here's our wine bottle. I tried to make sure that I got one that looked exactly like the one that she had. That way, there wouldn't be any differences. So, it has to be pretty much the same thing. Plus, this is bubbly, so it'll help it actually burst open. In theory. Oh, dude, that looks just like her bottle in the video. Like, to a T. I want everything in the video to be as close as possible, so I'm even sitting down. So, it looks like she just got her wine glass, and she sort of just went like this. So I guess I'm gonna keep doing that until it pops open. It's kind of scary because she's not even wearing like proper pants. So if the glass broke on her leg, it could totally cut her. I mean, I could only talk so much about safety, but geez. Maybe if I shake it. This is so scary. It's not working. What am I doing wrong? Oh, uh, so she did it kind of hard. So, okay, let's try it. One, two, and this isn't working. <gasps> I broke the wine glass. <gasps> it actually freaking worked. What? Oh, it smells like my parents' house in here. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that 
This one works. This was awesome. I'm going to try this at parties. Mashed potatoes. Made from potato chips. Three ounces of potato chips with one cup of water. Got our chips with a big spoon. Just get them moistened first. So now after a couple of minutes, you can see, look, quarter cup of half and half. Now we're talking. Okay, guys, so here are our chips. Classic Lay's. Here's our stove. Smack a pot on there. And we put in a bunch of our chips. Ooh. Go ahead and add a little bit of milk. And we just start crushing these bad boys up. Ooh, get back in there. I wonder if this is how you make mashed potatoes in prison. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I feel like potato chips are gonna be a lot more common than just a potato laying around. I need more milk. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take a little while, so I'll let you guys know uh, how this turns out as it progresses. 328 a.m. Okay, it's definitely progressing into mashed potatoes. Chips are just like mashed potatoes that are like dried out into chip shapes, right? So I wouldn't see why we couldn't just rehydrate the potatoes, make it into mashed potato. Yeah, so this is kind of how it turned out. It's kind of really slimy and squishy looking. It still definitely has the quality of chips. It looks like it's the texture of chips a little bit. Like you can see some of the flat bits still in there, but I feel like this is about as good as we're gonna get. Well, I guess it's time to try it. This is gonna be interesting. Ooh. So it smells uh, just like potato chips, but how does it taste? It tastes kind of like um, soggy potato chips that have been fried. <laughs> I mean, if someone handed me this and told me that was mashed potatoes, would I argue with them? Probably not. But would I say that it tastes weird? Yes. Yes, I would. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. We got our hand sanitizer, and then we got our paper towel. Yo! Okay, guys, so here's our hand sanitizer. Here's our napkin. Go ahead and squirt some of that right on our plate. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now, apparently, all the napkin has to do is make contact with the hand sanitizer and it just magically combusts <laughs> yeah i don't think this one's actually gonna work you guys ready three two one and yeah this one doesn't work at all in the video what i'm pretty sure ended up happening was they put their hand sanitizer on lit it on fire the camera doesn't pick it up and they put their napkin in and boom it got set on fire <laughs> oh god oh god oh god I just burned the heck out of my car. Oh, and this is still on fire. Oh man, that could have ended badly. Anyway guys, it does work only if you light the hand sanitizer on fire first. You've been life hacked. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a little thumbs up. Look some of this fight right down there. If you guys like this video where I try a bunch of fun TikTok life hacks, I actually have a whole playlist where I do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If not, that so sounds fun. You can always click the mystery cards. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye.